Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to show you this really cool face tracking plugin that you can use in OBS for your live streams. It can track you all around the camera area and keep you completely centered in the frame. It makes it look like you have a camera operator when you don't. It's super cool and easy to set up. So you know what? Let's get to it. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by StreamTunes. Every live stream or video needs some sort of good music, right? But how do you find good music for free that's not gonna get you strikes to your live streams or your video? Today's sponsor, StreamTunes, is the answer. Now, StreamTunes is a 100% free platform of high quality DMCA safe music. And it's always free. No strings attached, no bogus signups, nothing. Just free. Not only that, but StreamTunes is available on Spotify Apple, Amazon, and most, if not all, streaming services, including YouTube Music. And they have a library of more than 800 songs, and it's growing by the day. Another really cool part about StreamTunes is that every time you play their songs on any of the services, a donation is made to Music Counts. And this charity helps to keep music programs going in high schools all over Canada. And that's just awesome. Be sure to check out StreamTunes for yourself. There is a link in the description. And like I said, it's totally 100% free. This face tracking is done through the magic of NVIDIA. So you need to have an NVIDIA 2060 or better for this to work. The rest is just a couple of simple free plugins. The links to all these are in the description down below. We're gonna start here in the OBS forum page for StreamFX. We're gonna go up here to the top and click go to download. And you can see this is an alpha testing release. So we're gonna click on this link to get to the regular release and scroll all the way down to the bottom and select the install that we need. There is Mac OS, there is Linux, and there's also Windows, which is what we're using. We're gonna select that. And once this file's finished downloading, I can just click it and it brings up our install. And I'm gonna click run on this screen. And then I'm going to accept the agreement and click next. Now I already have this on my machine, so I'm not actually gonna click install, but once you do, it'll just install this on your machine and you'll be all set and ready to go. And then I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna click on this virtual green screen here, number 680. And this is the feature in StreamFX that allows us to do the green screen. And it takes us to this that tells us a little bit about it. And we're just gonna click here, which will take us to the NVIDIA page, which has the rest of the installs that we need. Now this has three installs and the one you probably need is the video effects one. I'm just going to download all three of them and install them because they add extra features and functionality that you can use with your NVIDIA graphics card. They're all fairly tiny packages and so they're not going to take up a lot of space on the machine. There's really no problem with having them all on there. Once they're downloaded, I'm just going to click on the bottom one here and they all have slightly different install packages. You just click here and it installs and when it's done you can close it and move on to the next one and you just agree to the license it installs it and you click close when it's done and move on to the next one that's pretty much how all installs go on pc you should be relatively familiar with that at this point you just agree it automatically starts installing and then you click close when it's finished and there you go all three of the nvidia packages are on here and stream effects we now have everything that we need to get started my goal in this channel is to help people become better live streamers and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second down below in the comments and let me know how I'm doing. This goes a long way towards helping YouTube to push this video to a wider audience and it's totally free. So thanks. Now we just have to set this up in OBS. This one is super easy to set up. We're just gonna right click on our camera device and we're gonna go into filters. We're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go to auto framing. And there we go. And now you can see when I move around, it frames us up. Man, it's really pretty easy. So you've got some options down here. You can adjust it so it doesn't move smoothly. And my chair is still super squeaky, isn't it? You can turn prediction off, and now it's just gonna pop around. Now, what you'll notice is if I move over to the side, it kind of zooms me in, because it's trying to keep the same aspect ratio, and we can push this all the way down, and it will frame in super far. If we put stability all the way up, you can see 
it kind of barely moves around. It doesn't want to give me that zoom look, which is fine. It just depends on what you want. When you get to the edges of your camera lens, it's obviously going to have to zoom you in to keep the same aspect ratio. <laughs> and, you know, if I move stability all the way down, I can really get it to zoom in a lot. So it depends what you're looking for. I like it to be around 40%. I don't want a super big zoom, you know, but whatever works for you. Um, I like my smoothing to be around the 33%. I think it works pretty well the way it's right out of the box in prediction. Doesn't really, doesn't seem like it does anything. I, I don't want it to be jerky. I want it to be smooth and subtle. So I like that, that works. Here is the padding. So in other words, how much is there on the edge of each side of the screen and I find this to work pretty well but your results may vary. I love this offset piece because it allows you to set it up so that if you want your face to be in any specific area of the screen you can set that up and then you can do the aspect ratio right here so maybe I want to do 9 by 16 instead well we can do that and it will just follow me around and try to keep me in the frame which is pretty cool needless to say 16 by 9 is the usual aspect ratio let me show you how the offset works right now it's at zero percent let's set it to 60 percent and you'll get an idea of what this does and we'll do 60 percent boom so you can see it, it puts me all the way over to this side of the screen. No matter where I move, it's always going to attempt to keep to keep that 60%. Since I use a camera that's cropped pretty far already, it doesn't leave a whole heck of a lot of room. But you can see this puts me all the way at the edge of the frame. And if we wanted to go the other way, we could just do this. And there we go. Now it's going to do everything it can to keep me on the other edge of the frame. So very, very, very cool tool. It gives it the appearance that you have a uh, camera person in your studio that you may or may not have. And then you come down here to automatic and I just select Nvidia. So that's pretty much what all of these do. If you wanted to have more movement, you can definitely add more to the padding and that means you would be zoomed in farther but your camera could move a little farther as well once you set this up i don't really notice any kind of issues with how much clock cycle this takes up let's bring up the stats window real quick and you can see we're really you know using almost no cpu on this this uses all in-house stuff from the NVIDIA graphics cards. Now, needless to say, this is really cool. It's really cool and easy to set up. It's so easy. If you wanna see how you can use a really similar method to remove your background, you can check this video out. Big thanks to StreamTunes for sponsoring this video. There are links to StreamTunes and all the other sponsors that support this channel in the description down below under sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you. So thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.